So I'm gonna show you guys how to change the default location of your user folders in Windows 11. There's a couple of different ways on how you can do this. This is how I do it. So I have my C drive here and I have my backup drive. I actually have three backup drives, but this one here called storage is my main one. It's about eight terabytes. I like to store everything on there, the videos, pictures, music, and so on. So I'm gonna click on that and every year I create a new folder in here with the current year. It's 2023, so if I go in there, you can see I've created the folders already. And what I'm going to do is change the default location from the C drive to the storage or, you know, backup drive. You guys can do this to whatever drive you would like to do. You can put it on any other SSDs you might have hooked up or an external drive, something like that. How you do it is there's a couple of different ways. And first, we're going to go in here to the C drive. And then where it says users, some folks are trying to change it here. You can't change this folder by going to properties and changing the location. It doesn't work that way. What you have to do is you have to do that individually so go into your users folder and whatever your name is here you go in there to get to your actual documents and music and videos and folders and stuff in here like pictures let's just say I want to move the music folder first so you have to go in here directly to the actual folder if you guys have a shortcut out on the desktop of your computer that says music it's probably not going to allow you to move it that way you have to go directly to the actual music folder and right click on it and choose properties because you are looking for this option right here it's on the lower set of tabs and it is called location so what we can do is we can move it anywhere we want you can actually move it back uh, if you click restore default it would put it back here so you really can't mess this up what you want to do here is click move and then once this selected destination page comes up you guys can pick where you want to move it you can use this little browser window over here or we could just go through it by clicking this PC and then going into the D drive, which is where I want to save mine. And then of course, down to this folder here, 2023. So I'm, I'm moving my music folder. All I need to do at this point is select music and then click select folder down here. And then you can see that it changed the folder location, well, the target folder, like the di different directory here. So D2023 music. All I have to do is click apply. It asks me if I have already have stuff in this folder that's on the default location, it will move all that. And you do want to tell it yes. That's really how you get this to work correctly. You just move everything over there. So you'll notice over here now, my music folder is no longer in the users folder. It's gone, okay? Everything with that then is going to save to the storage to that location right here if I went back in there. So now we're going to do the pictures. We'll just right click on pictures, go to properties, and again, change location over here. Right now it's set for users Jamie pictures. I'm going to move it. We're going to go back into, it's kind of jumping around here. I apologize about that, but go back to my storage drive, go to 2023. Now what I would have to do is, let's just say you don't have a pictures folder in here created, which actually I don't. So I don't wanna just pick anything here. What I wanna do is before I can select a folder, I'm gonna click new folder and I'll just name it pictures. And now I can just select pictures and I can click down here where it says select folder. And then you guys can see that it's coming up to change that path. I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna move everything. And then that one disappears because now they're all pointing to the backup drive. So I'm gonna go back in here to users. What do we have left? I'll just do videos, right click on that, go to properties and then location. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move that. Let me back out, go to this PC, go to storage. Go to 2023. And then I'm just gonna choose videos there, select folder, click apply. Yes, and we're all good and it disappeared. So let's go all the way out. So if we go into the C drive now and go to users, and then go to your username, you can see they're all gone because they are pointing to the storage drive in here. I have them all pointing in here now where they're supposed to be. Well, where I want them to be anyway. The other way that you can do this is if you go down here to the little window, go to settings, you can actually go to where it says storage here, go to advanced storage, and then here where it says where new content is saved. 
So change where you want to, you know, your music and pictures and videos to go. I've already chosen to put them on a backup drive. You can do that from here. But as you guys will notice, like if I wanted to change my music folder from the C drive, which we already did, but I want to move that to the D drive, it doesn't allow me to go any further into folders here. Um, so I don't really use this way of doing it, but you technically could. It will create your username and then put the folder under your username on any drive here that you have as a backup drive. If that works easier for anybody, you can do it that way, but I don't choose to do it that way. I like having more custom options where I can go in here and put it in any folder I want. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If the video was helpful, hit the old like button, share it. I'll see you in the next one.